The Huffman Lady Vikings are one step closer to securing that blue map. The Lady Vikings defeated Park Crossing Eagles today at Legacy Arena in the state semifinals. Immediately in the first quarter of the game, the 6A Lady Vikings were on fire, basking three-point shots non-stop. The Lady Vikings played strong on the defensive side of the ball, going into halftime with a 10-point lead over Park Crossing. In the second half of the game, the Eagles tried closing in on the Lady Vikings in the fourth, but Huffman was more dominant in the end. The final score was 63-56 to Huffman. In true twin fashion, sisters Jamiria and Tamiria scored 23 points each. It was a hard-fought game. Um, Park Crossing went on the run. I had to throw down my play sheet and just coach. Just coach the way I know how to coach. And, and I just thank God that um, we was able to pull out, pull out the win. It was a tough win, hard fought win. I started with Tamaria. Uh, Y'all held them scoreless for 338 there. Just talk about the defensive effort there late in the game. Uh, we just really had to lock in and just remember our assignments and remember, remember how we were supposed to uh, rotate and just be more hungry for it. Like. Those, these two young ladies just sitting between there had 23 points each. Seemed like every time you need a big basket or a stop, they were getting it for you. Talk about having these two and the luxury it is to have players like that in this modern era. It's been a blessing um, just to have them in the program. Um, they definitely were program changers when they came in. They worked extremely hard over the years to become the players that they are today. I knew they could become two of the top players in the state, and they are two of the top players in the state. Whether anybody else recognizes it, if they didn't see that today, then they must be blind. The Lady Vikings will be taking on defending state champions Hazel Green this Saturday. It will be a rematch from last year's state championship. I'm Fred Davenport, BCS Media.